The Surface Pro 4 was a Surface device that marked the beginning of a serious business for Microsoft. Some would even say that it was the first genuinely great Surface device. But it had its shortcomings, like all devices. But for a device to be great, it needs to transcend time and age to be of true value. Did the Surface Pro 4 achieve those high marks? Let's find out. This is the Bentec Code Surface Pro 4 2020 review. The Surface Pro 4 is a device that truly pioneered the 2-in-1 form factor and made it a viable form factor. I'm not sure how to say this, but the Surface Pro 4 is, is, is what truly made the Surface Pro series is what made the 2-in-1 form factor. So let's talk about the key components of it. The tablet portion of the Surface Pro and the, and the keyboard portion of the Surface Pro. Let's talk about the keyboard. That keyboard is, is enough to fit the screen. So it's about 13 point, it's about 13 inches, maybe 12.5. Really, it's huge. The keyboard is really good and I'm able to get most of my work done on it. Typing for hours, typing out articles, every article that you've seen on bensetco.blogspot.com, I've had no issues. Same with the trackpad, being able to use gestures and just big enough to be comfortable. Although I wish it could be bigger. That's always a complaint. That keyboard though, it is amazing. And it's hard to think about. Because when you look at devices such as the Lenovo Chromebook Duet, whose keyboard is actually really thick, the Surface Pro keyboard is super thin. Really, really thin. It almost adds no weight and no thickness to the device. But it still, ha it still has millimeters of, of keyboard travel that just make it a delight to type on. The screen also is very good but the tablet portion of the surface pro is one we need to talk about a lot the keyboard it was is still great though so the tablet portion is great for drawing for example does i use the optional surface pen that came with the surface pro 4 although now you will have to buy it separately for an extra 99 dollars but this surface pen even though it is the fourth generation surface pen is still amazing i love drawing on it a tablet mode tablet mode is still a soft spot for me i have a soft spot for windows tablets in general but i just can't justify it i just can't although it's great in some apps in other apps it just simply won't work i don't know why but it's it just won't. In the vi in this video, you'll see me drawing, and with that pen, I also take notes. So some could say that I use it as a clipboard, which is an ex an example of how great the tablet portion is. But tablet mode itself just doesn't live up to the high standards of most Windows users. I, for one, just cannot accept it. So, yeah. In other findings while using Surface Pro 4 as a tablet, I've also found to, it to be very useful to be able to use the shortcuts inside the pen. And that pen is a really integral part of the experience. And even though it's not necessary, it really enhances everything that I do with it. Just look at me draw. It's like drawing on a sheet of paper, sometimes even better because I can use pencils and brushes that I never had on regular paper. So let's look at that screen. That screen is a awesome 13.3 inch display. So that display is able to power the internal, the, the, the internals, sorry, the internals power that display. So let's talk about them. 
I, I am using the dual core Core i5 6th generation model and the performance is still great even though it was released in 2015. Look at me. Being able to edit photos in GIMP, it's mostly very, very smooth. The problem starts when you start to do too many things at once. For example, in this example, I only had GIMP open. But other times, I'll have Edge, OneNote, Word, Maps, Code, all these things open at the same time, and I just can't handle them. The Surface Pro 4 does not have the horsepower to handle them. So, should you still buy the Thank Surface you so Pro much 4? for watching. I Please so. hit that subscribe button and like if you will. And be sure to visit bentechcode.blogspot.com for a much more cohesive Surface Pro 4 review. Thanks for everything.